program with number five. We just heard about it from Claudia. Yeah. We were very excited. And we started uh, passing out the word. And my friend Janice goes to a very nice church. Our Savior Luke. This is our ex-pastor. Hi. Hello. How are you? Well, they put the bulletin out in the church bulletin, and Hank looked at it, and Hank said, well, I need a new roof. Why can't I win? Right? And so they nominated Hank, and along with other, I think we ended up with 14 nominees altogether, and when it came down to pick the finalists, Earl went around and visited every home, and he chose Hank as one of the finalists. He met with him. He saw his knee. Hank's 79 years old. He's been living in this house since 1970. Tried a few times to fix the roof himself, and on the last time he had a little accident yeah, right. uh, with the ladder, right. and he decided that he wasn't going to do that anymore. So that was his story on the new roof on the high side, and I think that tells you. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I wouldn't have done it without our church and the school that I work for. Without that many votes, I would have never even tried to enter. I've known him 35 years. He's a very deserving man. Very deserving man. Well, all I can say is thanks to GAF, the No Roof Left Behind program, and the guys that are all here, and all the people, and all the people that help do this project with us, the gutter people, the window people, the landscaper, and we did the painting on the fascia board. Bank United. Bank United. Bank United just got done weeding the whole backyard, trimming awesome. all the bushes. They stepped right in. They brought all the food. They brought all the drinks. It's just been a great collaboration. Well, that's awesome. Fantastic. I mean, without Earl Johnson, the roofing man, you guys, you guys are stepping up. You're extremely busy here, and for you guys to, to take time out of your busy schedule to give back to the community, I mean, that's that's awesome. So.